marvelous. Yes. Come over here. Hey. Hello. Morning. You better come out of the kitchen. I'll take off my glasses and fix my hair. How do I look? 30th anniversary. That's it? I've got a smile. <laughs> Come on, give me a big smooch. That was terrible. No, not good? No, that was not a good kiss. I you have know. a thing hanging off your nose, too. Yeah. Crumbs. This is a movie camera? What is this? Sort of a movie camera. Oh. <laughs> they make those things now without the extra pouches and the extra baggy hats. Yeah. 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 We still have it. It's taking up the room. Right. That's right. So, yeah. smile at the camera, David. Why? Say something for your parents' anniversary. I was hungry until you had to go through that big uh, thing. <laughs> and uh, Mark, how are you going to get into this picture? Well, I'm probably not. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Turn the camera around on yourself. Yeah, like they do in the detective store. And say something right. sweet about um, your parents' anniversary. It's a very sweet occasion. That was a sweet thing to say. And David would like to say something now. Yes. The cake is very sweet. And? Man, now it's your turn. Uh, I'm really happy that this is our 30th anniversary and we made it. Yeah, I'd like to do it again sometime. No, we decided 25, oh, no more. <laughs> We're going another 25. We figured 85 was enough. Okay. We just calculated it this morning. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Open it. It's a good thing you didn't eat your brother's cake. Wait a minute, you're squashing my glasses. Mark, you have a wonderful taste in ribbon. Don't I? Yeah. Like I weaved it myself. I'm sure. He needs that back because he's wearing it later. A little schmunces for the hair. It's a cake. On the side you have to. Wait, your dad has to do it uh, very carefully. Yeah. Each piece of scotch tape. Maybe it's a video camera. Is it a video camera? It's not a video camera. If you open it, then you can find out what it is. <laughs> Once again. Mark, don't you have a uh, zoom around here? Is it stuck? Oh, it's heavy. Wait. You have to move the box. Move the lid so you can get it. So quick, that's cute. Oh my gosh, you got one of those 3D puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking in the catalog. I was going to get us one. Remember I asked you if you wanted to do a puzzle? Oh, look at the pretty candlesticks. Oh, very pretty. They're cold, though. And a bottle of booze. Coppo mm -hmm. Coppola. Yeah, it's a Coppola. It's a Coppola. It's an original Coppola. A very smooth, light table wine. So I gave you a whole evenings of activities on one of your last good. romantic evenings. Oh, uh, that's not going to be our last romantic evening. What are you talking about? We have we, a lot of them. We just had the last romantic but Yeah, we did. Kiss. That was it? <laughs> you think. Now that our children are out of the house, it's easy to have romantic evenings. Mm -hmm. Right, David? What, it's easy for who, David? Well, just checking with David. That's why he moved out. So this is our presents. And wait, wait. I want to get the other 
pressing in here. It's going to be stuck on the wine. Bad or good kids. You are wonderful children. I'm so proud of you. Nice. And I love you so much. I'm going to cry. So now you can turn off the camera. Turn it off. Or zoom in. No zooming in. But anyway, yes. This was a nice anniversary. I really like this. Okay. Say goodbye. 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 Later. You're not still with it on, are you? I don't know. Enough. You taking pictures of the apple cake? Yay, apple cake. This is the special cake. That. What makes it know. special, Mark? It's not as good as Grandma's plum cake. At least the crust. You've never been very good at crust. I make grandma's exactly for Rosh Hashanah, and I make it for uh, Craig when he makes a special request. So where do you go wrong? I don't go wrong. I don't think you've eaten it in the past few years. Where does I she go it. wrong, Dad? Uh, in the crust. In the crust. Oh, you bastard. Go ahead, fight like you always have. <laughs> no, you, we used to never talk when we fought. Now we fight. Now we've got to get it on tape. No, it's not going to happen. We haven't had a fight in a long time. i got to show it to your grandkids out in California. Mm -hmm. Had to really celebrate the 30th. These are how your grandparents fight. We don't fight. Not anymore. You're too late. Um, grandparents. No. no. I would like to be a grandparent. Mm -hmm. My kids are uncooperative. Yes. Yes, I said uncooperative. Dad, when did you get married? <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> I was matured at that time. There we are. I'm still waiting to mature. <laughs> yeah, but our parents were younger at that time. Don't you want your children to have fairly young grandparents so we can frolic in the meadow? No, I want them to have a fairly young mother. Mm. That too. <laughs> Then you better hurry up because um, you and your peers are aging rapidly. That makes me look better when I find a young wife. She's got to be over 18. Yeah, you, she, yeah you, your mother was... take my glasses off. That's right. I was 21. Your, that's right. She was a little kid. Dad robbed some cradles. Yeah, so you're 21 when uh, married or 21 when... I was 21 when I got married. So she was 19 when you met? Down and dirty. <laughs> yeah, I was 19 when we met. Yeah. Tell them how old you were when we met. 24. <gasps> liar, liar. <laughs> tell them. Tell them how old you were. How old could I have been? One day you were 26, another day you were 28, then you were 26 again. But at least he was bilingual. Bilingual what? It was all even. Even numbers. Until you finally confessed. Yeah. And then you weren't so even. Then it was 21. <laughs> so what was the trick? Was it acting immature or was it... No, actually, I was. I wasn't. It was poor actually. memory. He kept forgetting how old he was supposed to be. Yeah. No, the whole uh, relating to, to a words, teenager when you're 29 years old. Exactly. How'd you succeed? Uh, he was 28. It was accent. Yeah. The accent was uh, younger. Could you demonstrate that? <laughs> <laughs> now, your dad had a really cool line. He was really smooth. Hello. <laughs> you staying here way too long. <laughs> well, we need evidence of smoothness. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, I don't think you're going to get it anymore. <laughs> I 
I mean, it was prestige. She was after prestige. And, uh, <gasps> you liar. He's lying again. Well, at that point, you were in medical school. That's right. She knew you'd be wealthy one day. I hated doctors. Yeah. I never mm -hmm. wanted to marry a doctor. Yeah, let's go back to this ring. Right. Let's zoom in. There's great zoom on this, so we should be able to pick up the whole ring. Where'd the diamond go? What diamond? Oh, now I'm looking at, like, your nostrils. <laughs> Hold on. I got to zoom out to find it. Now show me the ring. Turn it around. Where's the diamond? I don't Turn know. Around. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't care about money. I don't care about wealth. Well, Jewels mean nothing to me. For the record. Yes? There are two huge diamonds on there. <laughs> huge. It's a capital U. <laughs> and actually, you just billed it to uh, Dad's expense account. What expense account? The one that you're going to steal the credit for, card for and run, run through on Tuesday. That's account? Mm -hmm. There's no account here, just expense. She's got the expense account, doesn't she? She's got the credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't need an expense account. <clears throat> and David has to say... <laughs> See, I'm still learning from the smoothness. What? It's, she it's says? <laughs> If somebody has a job, it's you're dealing in services. When they mean you're dealing in services, <laughs> right? I didn't want to hear that. That's what it is. Somebody's either a salesperson or dealing in services, or a technician, or what about this girl from Canada, Craig's cousin? Whatever happened to that? Whatever happened with what? This person from Canada. Whatever happened to that? Thank you. I don't know. I haven't seen her since the wedding. Yeah. You didn't hook up with her, did you? No. She wasn't that hot. Yeah, I, didn't. I, I didn't think so, but she was all over David. Yeah, why are you asking me about her? Because you sat up all night talking to her. You did? And at the wedding, Not really, no. she was. you told me that. He's just trying to impress you. But I she mean, was an older chick, right? Nicholas, guys, we go for the younger ones, the babies. The ones where we still can't take them to a bar because they're too young. I believe this is against the law. <laughs> no, no, no. Why? Under 16 is against the law. 19 is perfectly legit. Is that honeymoon. why you promised her bowling? <laughs> went on the honeymoon. They caught at me. They did. <laughs> they really did on our first night. Yeah. How did you feel when you tried to pick her up and you had to wait for the other guy to leave? No, that wasn't a pickup. No, it was just a blind date. Oh. No, you were a blind date. I know. But the next night, you waited outside while I was on a date with Fred, and you had to wait for him to leave. Yeah. So the question that Mark asked you was, how did you feel? Very impatient. The guy was taking too long. What was he doing? I don't remember. I'm not sure which is worse. <laughs> Actually... Trying to pick up on a 19-year-old or have to wait for that 19-year-old to dump the other guy just so she could take time for you. Fred Sirota was nice. We're lining up all the dates, one after another. What are you, ca what are you focusing the camera on? It's probably so focused. It's like going from my armpit or my ring. No, I've got pretty much you know, lots of room. Yep. If this were on TV, it'd be perfect. Really? Okay. Any further comments? We've never gotten this on film before. I don't think so. I like being the cinematographer. Oh. Getting what on film? It's before. Our before? Yeah. Actually, I think it's probably important. You know, this looks like a documentary with the handshaking. There's a cool feature on here. I'm going to just make it black and yeah. white. Sort of... You can't just turn it black and white in the middle unless you say something profound. Why don't we go? It's from the old movies. There we go. Why don't we go sit on the sofa and we can talk about each other like they did with um, what movie was that? The one with Billy Crystal. When Harry met Sally. When Harry met Sally. About all the things that you hate about her. Better city slickers. Did they do that? They did too? No, no, they do it on all the movies. 
And now the first, your first finger is over the zoom. You found it? I am focused on your eyeball. This zoom is pretty strong. How's my retina? Your eyes are a bit bloodshot, but I think I'm touching your cornea. No wonder they're bloodshot. They're irritated from the camera. So say something profound. I have nothing else profound to say. Except the spelling that profound is under E, which goes with the, uh, it, it's usually followed by the R. This is an opportunity for you to say something wonderfully romantic. Or an opportunity for you not to. In which case you're dead meat. Speaking of dead meat, we just had turkey, and it was well done. And um, the recipe was such that it had apple stuff after it. And uh, gravy and the dark and the light meat goes with the color in, in contrast with the, uh, with the camera. And not only that, but if you really get into it, then you won't be. Because... <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to remember that. Has your father ever told you anything that... What was the deciding moment? What was the advice he gave you? Well, you know, the dog meat says if you get into it, then you won't be. Romantic. Ready? Get set. Put your we hands can leave down. The room if you'd like. You could say something. Mark, <clears throat> this is as romantic as it gets. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a song that would be appropriate. <clears throat> Are you going to sing to me? For the romantic, romantic stuff that uh, goes with this stuff, the turkey. <laughs> Are you feeling pressured here? Good. As long as you don't start singing the Kol Nidre. Oh, is for the stuffing that we had. Um, M. M is for the turkey. Yeah. That was sliced by Marvin. Yeah. What was wrong? A. R O M. Rome. Rome. D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> e is for the other stuff. Romantic. <laughs> A. Roman. Rome. And A is for the other stuff that we supposed to be singing about. Uh, N is for the another that we sing about. Uh, Marvin, what? come on, be romantic. Come on. This is sad. This Maybe is the truly... football game will help inspire romance. Mm. Some of my most romantic experiences have been while watching football. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know, is it the pig skin or is it what? <laughs> Yeah, I guess yeah, the face mask could be part mm -hmm. of it. Sure. Helmets. Pads. Pads. I love those pads. Yes. Mm.